Now it's time to divide and conquer, meta world peace, everyone. God's gift to celebrity Big Brother's recap producers. Shannon starts Friday's episode with her back against the wall. Up on the block against her only true alliance member, James, she leaves the nomination ceremony to cry alone in bed. But Brandy is not letting that happen. She slinks into the back bedroom to inform Shannon that her entire alliance aside from Mark was gunning for her. They are joined by Ariadna, Ross, and Marissa. I have to give Shannon credit, she knows how to spin a conversation. I've never had anyone, she tries. Omarosa decides to join the party and instantly becomes the sole target of Shannon's ire. I really like you as a human being, Omarosa tells her, though that's probably doubtable. Omarosa, the house's other spin master, actually calls Shannon out for not handling being nominated as gracefully as she had. Shannon turns on the waterworks again and claims she just wants to give up and go home. I just feel like I'm letting down the animals right now, she says through sniffles, or, as Omarosa calls it actress overdrive, in the diary room. James, on the other hand, takes the opposite tactic. I'm not going to be bitter about it, he calmly tells Ariadna of being nominated. But Shannon's strategy seems like it may be working. Brandy begins to waver and says she might want to keep Shannon. But Omarosa quickly squashes that idea and the conversation takes a quick, shocking turn. Did you ever sleep with him? Brandy asks Omarosa, referring to President Trump. Hell no. Oh my god. Brandy, that's horrible, Omarosa replies. But, there's somebody in the White House who is, sleeping around with everyone. Brandy says she heard that a few Celebrity Apprentice contestants had slept with Trump. Omarosa asks her to name names but Brandy says she doesn't know who it was. Omarosa, and me, don't think that's the truth. Pause for Marissa and Ross freaking out over watching James take a shower. Now it's time to pull names for the veto competition. Ariadna pulls Ross name. Shannon pulls Omarosa's name. Q Shannon's stank face. James pulls Brandy's name. Pause for Meta's new best friend, a stuffed owl. Knowing Omarosa is the key to flipping the house again, Shannon goes to the former White House staffer to attempt to mend fences. Can we just start fresh? They want you out. And when they wanted to backdoor you I said we gave our word, Omarosa tells her before throwing Marissa under the bus as the instigator of the backdoor plan. Omarosa admits in the diary room that she's hedging her bets in case Shannon wins the veto. She goes even further and finds James in the kitchen and tells him that he's the real target, and that Marissa and Ross were behind it. James runs to his former alliance mates and tells them what Omarosa has been saying. The game of telephone continues as Marissa and Ross run to Ariadna and they all decide that Omarosa will be the replacement nominee over Mark now, should Shannon or James win the veto. The group is telling Brandy what's happened when Omarosa comes into the room and they confront her about the conversation. She denies she ever spoke to James, so Marissa decides to bring James into the room and have him tell his version of the story in front of Omarosa. She tries to paint him as a liar. Refusing to get involved in a back and forth, he leaves the room but stands his ground. Shannon listens to it all from the other side of the door. In a conversation with Ross, Marissa, and Ariadna, Brandy decides she could put her hatred of James aside if he was willing to work with their alliance moving forward. She very unsubtly tries to cough to get James's attention but ends up having to just call him by name, which is observed by Shannon in the living room. She's turning into quite the Harriet the Spy. Shannon decides to take her feelings to Meta and campaigns to stay over James. Meta maintains that he's gunning for her still since she didn't vote to send him home to his wife during the first vote. Brandy and her group decide to offer James a final five deal and he agrees, but with his fingers, figuratively, crossed behind his back. Pause for Meta becoming a seal and tummy sliding off the couch during a video message from his wife.
everyone else gets messages from family members but Brandy gets one from the face of Bravo, aka Andy Cohen, it makes me sad to think she might have not actually family to send her a video. Pause for Omarosa telling Mark all about the special form of torture that was working with former White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer. She also reveals her thoughts about the Mueller investigation, he wouldn't be this far into his administration if there was something that rose to the level of impeachment, that's my two cents.